Well, friends, it happened what I expected to happen. The Fed in the US has lowered the interest rate for the first time after you can see over here, many years of increasing and keeping the rates extremely high. Now, yesterday, we finally had the announcement that they dropped by actually 0.5%, so half a percent point, which is more than some expected of maybe 0.25%. And you can really see how the rates have increased over the years, obviously to combat inflation. And now finally in September, we have the first sign of a drop and it's actually highly likely as they outlined that there might be another half a percent drop before the end of the year. And that's very significant because we've already seen, you know, the Bank of England, even the ECB lowering their rates and other banks around the world. But the Fed, the central bank and the US basically lowering their rates really has a major impact globally. And I think more and more other banks will follow it. Overall, we will see interest come down. And I made a whole video about this topic, why it's good for some things and maybe not so good for other things. In my last video, you can check it out after this one. But in this particular video, I wanna focus on what you can do with the money that you have sitting in your bank account, right? Because obviously I'm always a fan of investing most of the money in other real estate, ETF, stocks, Bitcoin, many things to invest your money and have it grow over time. But I'm also always an advocate of having an emergency fund, which can be either three to six, in some cases even 12 months of monthly spendings in the form of cash that you're gonna keep at the bank or a broker that pays you high interest on that money and you can withdraw it anytime soon. However, now that we see those rates coming down, all those brokers and banks will also lower the interest. So you as a saver to keep your money there will actually be getting less interest on your money, which is unfortunate. But in this video, I will show you a way that you can still get really, really high interest. I'm actually currently getting 13% interest on my money and I'll show you how to go about it. Which platform I'll be using as well as potential risk that you should be keeping in mind. Because like anything in life, everything is a question of risk versus reward. Right, and for that, I'm gonna be using my cryptocurrency. Now, if you're not into crypto, don't turn off the video just yet. Just hear me out and understand the concept of a stable coin. Because here we're not buying some speculative meme coin that can maybe 100X or completely go to zero. But here we're talking about stable coins that are really following fiat currency like euros, dollars or pounds one-to-one. -one. There's no exchange rate, it just follows one-to-one. -one. So it's pretty much exactly the same just in the form of cryptocurrency. So if you want it back, you just exchange it back and you have your euros or dollars back. So really, really interesting concept. In fact, the biggest stable coin provider right now is a company called Tether. And last year alone, they made more money than BlackRock, which is absolutely mind boggling as BlackRock is one of the biggest companies and asset managers in the world with a profit of $6.2 billion. I mean, unbelievable numbers. It certainly doesn't look like a scam. I'll talk about the risk at the end of the video. So essentially the idea is that you take either euros, dollars, pounds, whatever is your native currency and exchange it on a crypto exchange of choice. I'll show you which one I'll use in a second to a stable coin. And then you use that stable coin to stake it. You kind of give it to the exchange and they lend it out, they stake it. However, they generate interest on it, they will pay you out that interest. And not just at the end of a term, it's still flexible, meaning you can withdraw and sell your stable coin and you know, convert it back to any of your native currencies. And you get the interest paid to you every single day, which is really amazing. It's a nice feeling. You wake up and see the money rolling into your account, right? So for me, that's really attractive. Now, of course, obviously, I'm not going to go all in and put all my money into that. But I definitely right now, as my other interest starts coming down, because previously, I used to get 4.2%, 5%, even 5.3% on Revolut. Right now, it all starts to come down. So I'm definitely now taking more of those funds that I kept over there and shift them into a stable coin to get that sweet interest. Right, so how do we go about it? Well, I'm gonna be using a platform called Nexo. Now, there are many other crypto exchanges out there, but I've been using Nexo for many years. And honestly, I really trust them. I have my own money over there. And yeah, just have seen how they survived a lot of difficult periods when many of the big crypto exchanges went bust. They really weathered the storm and did extremely well during this period. And while they have many different products to choose from, you can see over here, you can obviously buy your crypto, sell your crypto. They have a Nexo card even where you can get cash back. So many great things, but why I like them? Because they really pay nice interest and arguably one of the highest interests out there that I found compared to many other exchanges, even compared to Binance, in many ways, they pay actually much more attractive rates. And you can really see this over here in this overview what you can expect so you can run your own numbers whether it's worth it or not you see the leading rates over here that you could be getting and it all depends on the loyalty 
tier level that you're on. You can see there are four different levels over here. And as they describe it over here very clearly, let me zoom in. So basically, it depends on how much Nexo token you hold in your account. So Nexo token is basically their crypto specific token. So imagine you have 10,000 euros worth of cryptocurrency sitting over there. If you have more than 10%, meaning more than 1,000 euros out of that total crypto holding, whatever it's composed of, in Nexo token, you automatically become a platinum member. And you see the percentages. If you don't want to own any Nexo token, which is basically the Nexo specific native token, most of the exchanges have a specific token that they use and reward their users with. If you don't feel comfortable with that, it's totally fine. You don't have to have it. Then you'll be on the base level. But obviously, the more Nexo you hold, the better the benefit. So let's look at it at the base level, imagining you won't be holding or buying any kind of Nexo token. That way you're still gonna get some nice interest. So you can see over here on the USDT, which is the stable coin that I use. Why do I choose USDT? Well, because it's actually by market capitalization, the third biggest cryptocurrency in the world, just after Bitcoin and Ethereum. They have been in the game for a long time, and yeah, just the biggest by far. And honestly, I think in my eyes, really trustworthy. I feel comfortable with them. Now there's also USDC, which is based out of the US. You could use that as well. So they're very similar. They're both packed one-to-one -one with the dollar. Now, of course, there are also some euro and pound stable coins out there, but they're not that popular and that big, and the interest is not that great. So that's why I prefer, even if I earn only in euros, I would exchange some of that into dollars and then buy some USDT with that. So yeah, if you converted your native currency, whatever it is, dollars, pounds, euros, into USDT, you could just literally leave it on Nexo over here and you'll be earning a sweet 9% without holding any Nexo token. You're not gonna have to lock it up. You're not gonna have any monthly fees. Literally, you just convert your dollars or euros or pounds into USDT, keep it over there, and you will be earning 9% that's paid out to you every single day. So it's not 9% every single day, it's 9% per year divided by 365 days. That's what you're gonna be getting paid out every single day. So really, really nice. And yeah, flex terms basically means you can withdraw it anytime. Now, if you want it even more, you can also lock it up for three months. So that means you'll be earning 12% interest on your dollars, so to say, because it's one-to-one -one with a dollar. It's basically just a crypto dollar in that way, and you'll be earning 12% on that. But of course, in this way, you have to lock it up for three months and you can't be converting it or selling it or doing anything else with it, withdrawing it. So yeah, you would have to lock it up. So it's up to you how comfortable you feel with it. Obviously, in the beginning, you might just want to have it sitting over there, start seeing how it works, get the money paid to you on a daily basis that you feel comfortable. And if you don't need that money anytime soon, then why not lock it up? Another 3% might actually be worth it because some platforms pay in another 1%, which may not be that attractive, but 3% extra on top of it is even more attractive. But you can see also some other stable coins that do have a pound stable coin where you would be getting only 5%, so still quite attractive, but to be honest, 5% I can currently get also with some other stockbrokers out there, so I wouldn't want to take the risk for that. But if you locked up your assets for a longer period, anywhere from three to 12 months, it could be another additional 6%. In this case, it will bring you to 11%. So of course, that's very attractive, but at the same time, you're going to be locked up for quite a while. So, you know, all of those other stable coins for me, at least in my eyes, are not that attractive. I would really stick with USDT. If you're willing to give it a go, I think that could be a great option. Now, of course, the higher we go on the plans, meaning you have more next Nexo token, it would also increase your interest. You can see here, if you have some Nexo token, it would go now to 9.25%. So not a massive difference, but you can also earn in Nexo tokens. Here, you basically, you can choose on the platform. I'll show you this in a second what currency you want to be earning in. So basically, is the interest paid out to you in the form of USDT? So you get more USDT every day, the more you earn an in interest, or do you want to earn more Nexo token, meaning the interest is paid to you in Nexo. That means your Nexo holding over time increases. And that also means that over time, you're probably gonna increase in loyalty tier level because you have more Nexo token, therefore your balance increases. And then eventually you might move up to gold, right? Where you see now all of a sudden it jumps up to 10%. So you see the benefit of having more Nexo token means you also earn more in interest and other benefits. And now you earn in another additional 1%. So in total, on flexible terms, you'll be earning 11% interest. And then if you continue earning more Nexo or you exchange some of your money into Nexo token, you go to platinum, you could earn 2% additional if you choose to earn Nexo and your interest would jump to 11%. Also lock it up for another three months, then you could have another 3% on top of it, which brings the total interest to 16%, which is absolutely mind boggling. I mean, 16%, 
is really quite crazy when you think about it. But honestly, in most cases, if you're just starting off and never really dabbled around with the platform, I recommend you not to buy any Nexo token, stay on the base level, and then just start getting a feel for it, right? Because a lot of new things for a lot of people that don't feel comfortable with crypto or never invested, I think it's a great way, you know, get your 9%, you know, get it a few days, a few weeks, see how you feel about it. Maybe later on you wanna increase your holding over there. And then, you know, you might wanna to decide to lock it up to get 12%. Or of course, in the future, you know, maybe wanna convert some of your holdings into Nexo token to jump up the level over here, but it's really up to you. Also keep in mind, on top of the stable coins, they also pay interest on some of your crypto. So if you hold any of those crypto tokens, tokens over here, you're also going to be earning interest. And even on your Nexo token, right? So if you do have Nexo in your account, you're also going to be earning interest on that, which is awesome, right? But let's go back to the base case scenario. So here, even on your Bitcoin, you would be earning 3% if you just kept it sitting over there on the platform without anything, no Nexo token, no lockup period, three months. If you want to lock it up for at least one month, you could earn an additional 1%. So that will bring it to 4% interest on your Bitcoin. And honestly, that really got me thinking. I believe I would be somewhere around gold or silver, let's say to gold. So if I now have 3.5% plus 1%, that's 4.5% interest I'll be earning on my Bitcoin. And honestly, when I started off with Nexo, I had pretty much most of my funds over there because I felt very comfortable. It wasn't that big, the holding at the time. And yeah, I got some nice interest. Then what happened? We saw all the crypto markets collapsing. Then a few years ago, we had some major challenges in the crypto markets with FTX collapsing and some other exchanges. So I jumped on Nexo, withdrew all my funds and moved all my Bitcoin into my Ledger hardware wallet. So it's kept safely over here. Well, not physically on here. It just holds on to my seed phrase and my passwords, but basically keep it on cold storage. So I'm really in control of my Bitcoin, not the exchange. Because if you keep it on the exchange, they have your passphrases and basically you fully trust them to safeguard it. However, now that the crypto markets have recovered and we're in a stronger situation than a few years ago and Nexo did so well during all these difficult times, I really feel more comfortable with them and in a situation where I can move at least some of my money back from the hardware wallet into the exchange to capitalize on the nice interest. Because obviously I don't want to go all in and send all my money over there because there's still some risk, but definitely on some of it to capitalize on the Bitcoin interest at almost four and a half percent or three and a half. I still have to decide if I want to lock it up for one month or not. Usually I like to stay flexible, but the extra 1% might be interesting. So we'll think about it, but definitely for the stable coin to use some of my euros or dollars, convert them into USDT and then earn the sweet interest on it. I think it's much more attractive, especially as we see the other interest rates start coming down. Now, all of this is done really, really easily on the Nexo platform. You can also use Nexo on your phone. They have a great app. I made a number of tutorials and reviews on it. You can check it afterwards. I have a whole playlist around Nexo. But yeah, basically, once you log in on the web as well, you can use it equally, the same functions. It's very straightforward. Now, if I go down over here, you can see my assets that I currently have. As I said, that's before. I'm going to do my top ups. I'm going to definitely send some more Bitcoin into here to increase my holdings. That's my current holding over here as well as my Tether holding over here, which you can see. And of course, I do have some Nexo tokens, which is why you can see my loyalty tier over here is platinum. So right now I'm on the highest tier because I have 11% as it shows over here of my total portfolio in Nexo token. Now, if I would send in even more Bitcoins or some more fiat money to convert to USDT, naturally, if I wouldn't buy more Nexo token, my percentage of Nexo token to the overall holding would go down. So most likely I might become a gold or silver member, which is still totally fine. The interest is still so attractive. Um, yes, you would obviously get also some other benefits, the higher level you are, like free withdrawals and what have you, but overall I'd be just as happy on a gold or silver plan. And you can see over here at the top right, when I click into the notification, the beauty of it, every single day I'm getting paid. My interest right now is around $1.43. And yeah, that's paid out to me every single day, which is really cool. If I click into this, you can see how it's composed. So basically, I'm earning interest on all three of my various cryptocurrencies that I have. On my Bitcoin, of course, the holding is less. So also the interest is less, 26 cents. On my USDT, which also has the highest amount of interest, it's $1.1 and a little bit on the Nexo at 0.05. Now, right now I chose to earn a Nexo. That's why it's paid out to me in Nexo. So my Nexo holding increases over time, but you can very easily change this in your setting. If you wanted to pay it out in the same currency, you're just gonna click that. So if you have Bitcoin, you will earn in Bitcoin. If you have USDT, you will earn in USDT and any other currency that you have, or you choose to earn a Nexo token. And obviously there is another bonus. So you earn an additional 2% if you choose to earn a Nexo. So it's really up to you. And I might go back 
to same currency in the future. You can also change your selected currency if you want to show it in euros or pounds, it's really up to you. So obviously, if you wanted to buy some USDT, you would just make a regular bank transfer into Nexo from your bank account. I use Revolut, you can use any app or bank that you use, make a regular bank transfer into Nexo. As soon as the money has arrived, all you do is go to exchange over here, swap, and then you choose the currency that you have. Let's say you send euros into Nexo, so you just select the euro account over here, and then obviously, depending on how much money you have, you can choose to either convert 100%, 50%, 25, or put a specific amount, it's really up to you. And then on receive, you're gonna click USDT, and then obviously you wanna select that, and then it would show how much USDT you would be getting for it, and then click on preview exchange, so you see how much you will be getting, and then you just confirm and it's done. And of course, if you convert dollars to USDT, it will be pretty much one-to-one. -one. It might be a very small fee that Nexo takes, but overall, if you put $100 into here, you'll be getting pretty much $100 USDT. So really, really straightforward, really simple. And as soon as you convert it, that money starts collecting interest. You don't have to enable anything or switch on anything. If I go into my own USDT wallet, it will show you the balance. If you convert, let's say $100 into USDT, you will have 100 USDT over here or 99 point whatever, but more or less the same, one to one. And then you start seeing it's gonna be in your savings wallet and you see how much interest you get. You can obviously click on interest breakdown to once again see how much you'll be getting. You can change your saving interest if you wanna earn an EXO or not. And if you wanted to create a fixed term, so in case you wanna lock it up to get a high interest, you can click on fixed term over here. And then obviously from here, select the fixed term period. So right now there's only one option, which is three months. So you get an additional 3% of interest and then again you can stipulate how much of it you want to lock up maybe you don't want to commit all of it maybe some of it and then you say automatic renew so in case the term is up basically it will auto extend and renew the term or you switch it off and then you can manually do it so you don't forget about it and then you're going to be stuck in another three months over there and then you just click on create terms and it will be set up and you'll be getting that additional three percent interest and the same for any other cryptocurrency for example bitcoin if i jump into this over here once again you see as soon as you send it there, it's gonna be in your saving wallet, either if you transfer it from another crypto exchange or from your hardware wallet, or if you buy it through Nexo, it will be in your savings wallet. And same principle, I see the interest that I'll be earning right now, Plus, of course, I could create a fixed term. And here, it's a shorter period, one month, which is nice. I don't like to lock it up for three or six months. For me, that's a bit too long. One month, actually not too bad. And then you just select how much of the Bitcoin you want to commit to the fixed wallet. And then you set it up, create it, and boom, you'll be getting that additional interest. So as you can see, really straightforward. Even if you're not really interested in buying cryptocurrency, you don't have to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other of the other speculative assets that go up or down in price. Because a stable coin, generally, as the name implies, is stable, right? It moves flat. It moves with the dollar, with the euro, with the pound, whichever stable coin you choose. You just convert it, you have it sitting over there, maybe you don't want to even lock it up. And in the beginning, I don't recommend you to lock it up to have the fixed term. Just keep it there, you can withdraw it anytime. If you don't like it anymore, just convert it back to euros, the same way I showed you how you convert your dollars or euros to USDT. The same way you convert it back from USDT two euros, two dollars, two pounds, whatever you have, then you withdraw it to your bank account and you have back your money plus the interest that you made in the process. So really simple, really easy. I don't think it's super complicated. That's why I like Nexo as well because it's very user friendly. And if you wanna get started using Nexo, then please use my link down in the description below or scan the QR code over here to get you started and you'll be getting up to $25 worth of free Bitcoin. Now, of course, let's talk about certain risks because anything in life, has some risk attached, right? There's no free lunch, as people say, and anything is a question of risk versus reward. The higher the risk, generally the higher reward. And obviously, as you saw, up to 16% interest sounds almost too good to be true. And well, while I don't think it's too good to be true, there are certain risks. And here I really see two main risks I wanna outline. Number one is the platform risk. Nexo, it's an online platform. They obviously are registered, they're regulated, and they follow stringent measures and regulations. However, ultimately, there is no fund protection. If they go bust, well, your money might as well just be gone completely, as we've seen in the case with many other crypto exchanges. So while it is very unlikely, especially now that the crypto markets are in a good situation and they have done so well, even in difficult times, I feel very comfortable with them. They are being audited, many checks being done. And personally, I feel very comfortable with them. But of course, there is always that risk. And that's why I personally wouldn't send all my money over there because in the rare case that they will go bust, all your money might be gone potentially. Even though now for some crypto exchanges that went bust, like FTX and even Mon Gox, which got hacked many, many years ago, now some of the users have got their funds returned to them. So even in that worst case, there might be a chance that you will get some of your funds back if they were to go bust, which again is unlikely, but it may happen. Something to keep in mind. And the second risk 
is of course the risk of the stablecoin because Tether is a company, right? It's not a government that does it, it's a company behind it, a private company that potentially might also go bust or something might happen to the pegging that's not anymore one-to-one, -one, but the pegging might lose value, people run away from USDT and all of a sudden one USDT is not worth one dollar anymore, but maybe only half a dollar. So you lose 50% of your value or 100% of your value. Again, that's highly unlikely to happen. They've been around for many years. You see how profitable they are, more profitable than even BlackRock. So they have a keen interest to keep that machine going. So I think that's highly unlikely. But once again, it is something to consider. So those two things are the biggest factors that could be risking your money. And that's why I personally don't put all my eggs in one basket, which I never do. Never put all your money into one single investment because there's not one best investment. I'm a huge fan of ETF investing, especially in the S&P 500. At the same time, I don't put all my money in there because even there are certain risks attached to it. Same with real estate, right? It's an amazing investment class, but I wouldn't put all my money in there because also real estate can go down in value, the building can burn down, so so many risks with that as well. And that's why I believe in diversification. And right now, I'm definitely more interested in putting more money there because A, I see the platform doing well, crypto markets are in a strong and good position. I wouldn't do that if we go into a bear market now, the crypto prices are tanking, everybody's scared. I would definitely pull my money out immediately as I did in the past. But right now, I think we're in a strong position. So why not benefit from the nice interest? And I will definitely be sending more of my Bitcoin from my ledger stick into Nexo to, to get some interest on my Bitcoin, as well as sending more of my fiat money, meaning my euros and dollars that I have in various apps and brokers and banks into Nexo to capitalize on high interest on USDT. If you made it all the way until the end of the video, I really appreciate you for sticking around for so long. If you still have any questions on any of the things I mentioned today, pop them down in the comments below. I'll get back to every single one of you. Next up, check out this video over here. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.